Hey Vikes, it's Thursday, and I'm Aiden. I'm Carson. Let's get right into the news. <music> SHS Baseball will be holding a dodgeball tournament. Let's go find more about it with Bushnell. When is the dodgeball tournament? Uh, we're hosting our uh, annual spring dodgeball tournament on Saturday, March the 10th. Uh, we'll have four age divisions. We'll have two elementary age divisions, the third and fourth grade, and fifth and sixth grade. And then we'll have our middle school division and then our high school adult division will be our last division. So we'll start at 8.30 and it would go through the uh, middle of the afternoon on Saturday at Seaman Middle School. How many people are on a team and how much is it? Uh, there are six players per team. The cost is $36 per team or six bucks a player. Um, you know, the proceeds are going to go uh, to uh, support the Seaman baseball program. Uh, just all the uh, different things that we do, all the equipment needs and, and, the, and the travel and whatnot, the things that we, uh, we do on an annual basis, we're going to try to uh, you know, raise some funds and, and, and uh, provide some, some opportunities for these guys in our program. Make sure to get your money in by the end of the day. Do you want to see a giant plant sing and eat people? Little Shop of Horrors plays playing tonight, Friday and Saturday. Costs $8 to get in. Pie Day is March 14th, and Math Club is selling $2 slices of pie for a fundraiser. North Snook will be open on Friday throughout lunch. If you're looking to help, go see Mr. Tinsley or send him a message on Schoology. Jostens will be here tomorrow to deliver grad products. If you still owe a balance, you will need to pay it in to order to pick up your produce. There are several ACT classes to help prepare you for the ACTs next week. Will be April 14th. Sign up for the test tomorrow at midnight. The International Thespian Society will be selling messages all week for the cast and crew in the play for $1. The next parent, glow, parent afterglow meeting will be in the Commons on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Attention AP students, if you're taking AP courses, let your teachers know you're interested in taking the AP exam. Let's go to Aiden with the sports. Who are you? I'm a genie. You look like you need some fresh new gear. Where can I get all this gear? Ethan, if you want some more fresh gear, make sure you stop by the North Snook during any lunch on March 9th, which is Friday this week. What if I'm a girl? They said, would you like some pie? I said, yes, I would. Donations will be collected February 21st through March 13th. The teacher with the most money wins. Pieing will happen March 14th. The goal is to raise $2,000. Our contestants are Mrs. Geis, Mr. Rocastle, Mr. O'Brien, Mrs. Majette, Mrs. Halpin, Mr. Elliot, Mr. Freeze, Mr. and Mrs. Riley, Mr. Reinberg, Mrs. Strader, Mr. Alexander, and Mrs. Anderson. Softball and baseball apparel is available for purchase from Coach Mulholland or Coach Personnel. Order forms are due next week. Mrs. Schaefer will be holding an informational meeting for freshmen interested in volleyball on March 14th during activity period. Last night, our Vikes sadly lost to Pittsburgh in Substate with a score of 59 to 40. Now to Carson with the weather. Hey Vikes, today is in the 40s and tonight it will still be in the 40s. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 61 and the rest of the week looks pretty bad with low temperatures. Today is Keemstar's birthday and National Oregon Day. Let's learn about the weather week with Josh. Today is Lightning Safety Day in Kansas. And fortunately, it is generally very easy to protect yourself from lightning. While it is by far the most frequent of all the hazards we've talked about so far, if you follow the saying, when thunder roars, go indoors, you're almost always going to be safe. If you hear thunder, don't take the risk. You're likely already close enough to get struck by lightning. As easy as it may seem to prevent, still 47 people are killed in the U.S. yearly 
as a result of lightning. Play it safe. Tomorrow, we'll take a closer look at flooding. Have a great day. That's it for the news today, Vikes. See you next week. Just bounce through this.